Yeah. Okay. Coming up later in the show, Liv Tyler is a lethal temptress in One Night at McCool's. I am doing this for you and your sense of self-worth. Huh? And coming up next, Billy Crystal directs a movie about a couple of home run sluggers. How come Maris never smiles? He's having the season of his life, the Yanks are winning, and he looks like a zombie out there. Barry Pepper from Saving Private Ryan plays a different kind of American hero in the new cable movie, 61, the story of Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle as they chased home run king Babe Ruth's ghost in 1961. Directed by Billy Crystal and premiering April 28th on HBO, 61 is an authentic, sentimental winner. Pepper actually looks like Maris, and Thomas Jane has a strong likeness to Mantle, but their performances transcend physical resemblance, capturing the bond between the bawdy Mantle and the moody Maris as they pursue the most sacred record in sports. Come on, Artie, it can't be done. Even if they get close, you ain't gonna get nothing to hit. Ah, you're just being modest. You know if you stay healthy, you could do it. That's just great. One guy's got me all washed up, the other one's got me beating Ruth's record. You guys ought to get together and make up your mind. Tell me how I am so I know how to play. Hey, what do you say, Raj? Well, I don't know, Artie. You know, we haven't even played a game yet, so maybe we'll wait and see after we've played one. In 1961, there were 15 newspapers in New York, and the competition for scoops and quotes was relentless. Is the pressure starting to get to you there, Raj? Feeling a little gun-shy, maybe? You know, I don't get it. I, I strike out, you say I'm swinging for the fences, I bunt, and you, you say I'm afraid to hit a home run. You're yeah. only a game up on the Tigers. Shouldn't you forget about the record and focus on winning the pennant? That's what I'm doing. Mickey Mantle was a supremely gifted athlete whose carousing probably cost him 200 career home runs. Roger Maris was a good ball player who had one phenomenal year he never enjoyed. He chain smoked, his hair fell out, he snapped at the press and fans, and it seemed that nobody but his wife thought he was worthy of Babe Ruth's record. Billy Crystal captures this story with grace and style. 61 joins Bull Durham and Field of Dreams and The Natural on the roster of all-star baseball movies of the last 20 years. I really got involved in this movie, you know, because I thought it was just going to be about, you know, who hits the most home runs. And it's mm -hmm. about a relationship, about a friendship, really, between this one guy, Mickey Mantle, who drinks too much, stays out all night, hung over when he gets to the park, always coming down with the flu, but knows it's fun to play baseball. And then you mm -hmm. have the straight arrow, Roger Maris, who's also a nice guy, but is constantly misinterpreted as this crude, rude rube from the right. sticks, and it gets under his skin, and he's miserable the whole time that he's setting that record. Then you have the subplot that's really kind of interesting about Ford Frick, the baseball commissioner, right. who was Babe Ruth's PR man, yeah. and thinks the Babe is a saint in heaven, and decides to put that asterisk behind the 61 so that that record uh, will never be compared to the great babes. And it was only, of course, taken out of the books six years after Roger Maris's death. Which is a real tragedy. And Barry Pepper is so good as Roger Maris. They show him chain smoking in the dugout, which really happened. Guys, yeah, the ball yeah, players used yeah. to smoke in the dugout, mm -hmm. and they don't whitewash Mickey Mantle. And you mentioned some of the supporting performances. I think Donald Moffat plays Fort Frick. There yeah. are a bunch of great performances. Even Michael Nury in a cameo as Joe DiMaggio when he yeah. comes into the clubhouse. Looks just like him. And you see the way Mantle kind of still has a problem with him. Yeah. You don't have to be a baseball fan to appreciate the character dynamics in this movie. It's a really terrific movie. That's right. Coming up next, Liv Tyler and Michael Douglas and One Night at McCool's. Thank you, God! And looking ahead to next week's show, we'll review Brendan Fraser and The Rock in The Mummy Returns. Oh, I hate mummies. And also Warren Beatty, Diane Keaton, and Goldie Hawn in Town and Country. No more women, okay? Fine, no more women. <laughs>